how to upload music to Apple Music. You have a single, you are a musician, or you just want a song of yours on Apple Music. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to upload your music to Apple Music. Unfortunately, Apple Music, Spotify, all the other music streaming services don't make it really easy for you to upload your music. You have to use something called a music distributor. And what this is, is just a company where they act as the middleman between you and Apple Music, or you and Spotify, or you and Deezer, for example. Like if we, if we think of a YouTube and SoundCloud, there is no middleman, there is no music distributor. It's only you and YouTube and you and SoundCloud. You can upload directly to YouTube and directly to SoundCloud. You cannot upload directly to Apple Music and you cannot upload to Spotify and Deezer and Tidal, all the other ones. These are considered um, paid music streaming services. So we need to use what I was saying, a music distributor. I'm gonna walk you through now two distributors I use for my own music and I'll walk you through how to sign up and how to upload your music to these distributors so then you can get it um, up on Apple Music. But lately I've been mostly using DistroKid and TuneCore as my main distributors going back and forth on um, on both of these distributors. I like them both. And there are some discount links in the description if you want to use those, but you don't have to. Let's walk through two of these distributors. By the way, you can also use any other distributor you'd like. Um, a couple off um, just quickly would be CD Baby, a small one, Spin Up in Germany. And then there, there are honestly like a lot of other ones and they all vary in price and payment structure. So let's start with TuneCore first. TuneCore is probably the more um, bulky music distributor in a good way. They offer a bit more than DistroKid. Uh, they offer things like music publishing and admin publishing. I'm not gonna get into that in this video because let's focus on getting our music uploaded to Apple Music. So you would go to TuneCore.com. After you sign up with your email and password, this is where you will upload your single to TuneCore. So I'll give you an idea of what it looks like on the back end with my account. And you can see my singles here, the albums that I've released, the singles. So how do we get our music uploaded to Apple Music on TuneCore? We go to music and you add a new single and we'll be done in just a few minutes here. Obviously you have to have your song finished. So here we go, you put your song title in, your artist name, the language, genres, when you want to release your song. Some more information here like label, UPC, ISRC codes. These are things that you don't actually need to have because TuneCore and DistroKid, most music distributors will apply, or sorry, give you these codes. So don't get too overwhelmed with this information. All of it's super easy. Like what you, the main things are like your artist information, your song, and obviously your artist uh, artwork as well. That's super important and there are some restrictions on artworks uh, that you will need to follow. And then once you're done that, you press create my single and TuneCore will then take your single, take your artwork, all the information, and they will go to Apple Music and upload it on Apple Music for you. It usually takes between, sometimes it can take two days, sometimes it can take sometimes two weeks. It really depends on what your music is, what your artist name is, what, what country you're uploading it from, how many singles you're uploading. So it does depend on a variety of things, but you can expect it should take between five and seven days. What I would recommend if you're releasing a single is to upload at least three or four weeks in advance so you can be sure that if you post an Instagram post or whatever and you're like, hey, my single's coming out on January 29th, that you want to make sure at least you put it three or four weeks in advance so you know that um, you won't let your fans down and then January 29th comes and your single's not up there because you uploaded it like three or four days earlier. So make sure just uploading it like three or four weeks in advance, that's what I would recommend. Let me go through DistroKid in just a minute. I want to first mention though, if this is your first single that you're releasing, you might be asking yourself like, do I need to go to Apple Music and create an account there? So. Um, TuneCore knows to connect it to my account or like a Spotify account or or whatever. No, you don't actually need to do that. So don't worry about creating an Apple Music account or a Spotify account. TuneCore or DistroKid, these distributors will create your artist page for you. What you will need to do is when your first single is released, you will need to go and sign up for and claim your artist account on Apple Music or on Spotify. And if you don't do that, it's not a huge thing. Your music will still be up there. But 
you can create these artist account on the streaming services like Apple Music to get information about your song, how many people are streaming, how many, how much money have you made, and so that's good information to know, especially how much money you've made uh, on Apple Music, for example. Let's go to DistroKid now, distrokid.com. DistroKid is a more of a slim down distributor. It's um, really just the pure middleman, but getting your music um, to Apple Music, for example. And while TuneCore offers a bit more features that perhaps um, more some artists are looking for. And I mentioned one, publishing is an example. That's something that DistroKid doesn't offer. Okay, so DistroKid, same thing, email, sign up if you don't um, have an account, but I'll show you what it looks like on the back end now with my account. Cool, so here's my account, here's all the singles that I've released on DistroKid, and then upload at the top and very similar to TuneCore. You're, they're looking for the same information because these streaming services like Apple Music want all this information. So number of songs, your artist name, um, when you want to release the song, your album cover, same kind of information, um, title, artwork, um, the song obviously, and then credits of the song and songwriters. DistroKid does um, kind of upsell you on different features if you want to uh, these different options, like YouTube monetization would be an option. TuneCore does also offer these type of extra features if you want that you do have to pay for. Put the checkboxes in, press done, and then wait between two to 10, sometimes two weeks, days to get your release uh, up on Apple Music. Again, I would recommend uploading that in advance. If you're gonna go with something like CD Baby, it's the same thing. Um, the really only differences between all these music distributors are how much they charge you and the different added features they give. And they all vary in price and payment structure and features. So I do recommend just looking at maybe their pricing pages and their feature pages because maybe you want something CD Baby has or maybe you want something TuneCore has, for example, that could be better for you because it does vary on on who you are as an artist. Bare bones, they all will get your music uploaded to Apple Music and all the other streaming services. So that's how to upload your music to Apple Music. And for those who are interested and want to know a bit more context about how to claim your Apple Music page, um, let's I'll show you the, what that looks like and what my artist page looks like on Apple Music now and how you can go and claim that. You will want to go to artist.apple.com and create an account if you don't already have one. And this is what um, it looks like. Just gives you how many plays you have, daily listeners, song purchases, Shazams. Shazams is really cool to know. It's like all new listeners who probably hear your song in a coffee shop or wherever out in the street, maybe, and they want to know what your song is called. So that's, I really like that metric. And then obviously like where people are streaming your songs and where they live and that kind of thing. Same thing for Spotify. It's um, artist.spotify.com, so very similar domain name. And then you can see like your listeners, your streams, and your followers. And Spotify also gives you a home page with you can see how many people are listening right now. That's pretty cool. Six people are listening to my music right now. And then uh, blog posts and how many playlists you're on and that type of thing. All the things you need to figure out as an independent musician, I'm doing them right now. I'm a singer songwriter myself and uh, I'm going through all of that like you are and I'm just kind of passing this information on. So if you do want to go through this journey together and get some tips from me and some things I'm figuring out, feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.